Hey, I'm back. And today we're going to answer the question, what is the healthiest country in the world? Can you guess? Japan. Okay, let's talk about it. So Japan is one of the healthiest countries for several reasons. Number one, it has the most super centenarians per capita in the world. In other words, a super centenarian is someone who lives to be at least 110 years old. And then in the South, Okinawa, they have the highest number of centenarians in the world. And those are people who live to be 100. Now, Sardinia is up there as well. Probably is tied with uh, Okinawa as far as the highest number of centenarians. But overall in Japan, they have the lowest rate of age-related diseases, diabetes, cancer, arthritis, Alzheimer's. Also, the obesity rates are one of the lowest in the world. Why? Well, we're going to get into their diet, but I do want to mention in 2009, the Japanese Ministry of Health, Labor, and Welfare came up with something called the Metabo Law. And it's interesting to call it the Metabo Law and not the Obesity Law because anyone who's actually between 47 years old and 74 years old uh, is required to be measured okay, each year. And for men, it cannot exceed 33.5 inches. And for women, it cannot exceed 35.4 inches. Now, I'm not sure of their penalties, whether it's uh, through the insurance company that they have or the government, but I think it's very motivating to have this as a target because this is the indicator of insulin resistance and the amount of insulin in the body. And if they can keep their insulin low, they're going to avoid diabetes, certain risk factors of getting cancer, arthritis for sure, and Alzheimer's, which by the way, is like type three diabetes. I also know that if you exceed this, you also have to have certain classes um, to teach you what to eat. Now, I don't know anything about what's in those classes, but I think it'd be great to have this in the US. And of course, to teach them the correct information on this would be essential. Because the problem is, the government is usually stuck with the bill paying for all the complications of these things right there. So they're being very proactive. So now let's talk about what these Japanese actually eat. A lot of fish, okay? Raw fish in sushi with seaweed, which has all the trace minerals. The fish and the shellfish is loaded with DHA, minerals, vitamins. It's nutrient dense and high quality protein. The vegetables, especially sea vegetables, they do a lot of pickled vegetables and fermented vegetables for the gut. Yes, they do rice and noodles, but they also do green tea, some fruit, and nato, which is a fermented soybean product, which actually, even though it doesn't taste very good, it's loaded with vitamin K2, which is essential in removing soft tissue calcium from the arteries and the joints. This is also really good to support the mitochondria. And they also do a lot of walking. Now, if you haven't seen my recent video on Sardinia, I put a link down below, but there is some common denominators between that part of Italy and Japan. They do consume fish and shellfish and vegetables. Uh, and of course, in Italy, they do more pasta than rice or noodles, and they definitely walk a lot. And also, I think the thing that is the icing on the cake no pun intended, would be this law right here, which uh, forces people to focus on the correct thing, which is their waist size, which is a direct reflection of the amount of insulin. If you're new to my channel, I want you to learn about insulin resistance. Watch the link below. And thanks for watching. Hey, if you're liking this content, please subscribe now, and I will actually keep you updated on future videos.